Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number 5 in our 20 from 1981 series, and this is actually two games in one. Uh, I had both of these together because these were both very, very similar, and they're both made by Konami and licensed to Stern in 1981, and this is Scramble and Super Cobra. I'll, we'll look at Super Cobra in just a second. There it is. But uh, both games are very similar. They play very similar. But in Scramble, you control a spaceship. And in Super Cobra, you control a uh, helicopter. And in both games, you have an eight-way joystick and a fire button and a bomb button. And I don't know why Konami decided to release a game that was very similar to another one. I guess it's supposed to be sort of a prequel. I'm not sure how this story works in either game, but we're going to start by looking at Scramble. Both games were very popular. Um, I first saw Scramble, I think, like at a skating rink, but you control a spaceship and you fly over enemy terrain and there's going to be a lot of rockets that fly upwards and uh, can hit you. You can also collide with cavern walls or ceilings. Uh, you can collide with other enemies. The game has like uh, eight stages and a boss. And the game is not terribly hard early on, but uh, as it gets as you get further in the game it does get difficult and plays a sample of uh, the William Tell overture but yeah you can fire two bombs on the screen at once or a burst of four shots on the screen at once and you want to use both of those constantly laser fire for the enemies in front of you and bombs to take out fuel tanks and you will have a limited supply of fuel and when it's out you will lose a life you will be forced to crash so you want to constantly bomb because there will be fuel tanks all enemies are worth points um even just flying will give you points and this is the second part the stages segue directly into each other. Um, the first part is just the rockets that can fly upwards. Um, the rockets will not always fly upwards. Note in this stage, they do not fly upwards. Here you have these UFOs that bob up and down. And like I said, use, use those uh, lasers and your bombs constantly. And now we have these fireballs. And they don't want to let you poke your head up uh, to just to fly over the, the mountains for very long. You have to force yourself back down quickly. You might have to speed up because those comets might come at you and you won't have time to uh, stick your head over the, the mountain and then back underneath real quickly. You'll have to do it when the coast is clear. And now we're at the uh, fourth stage. And here the, uh, the rockets are nestled in these little, these little uh, crags here, these little uh, holes. Then uh, the fourth, uh, or the, this is the fourth stage. The fifth stage is the most difficult part. Well, beating the boss is pretty difficult, too. Um, this was super popular. I definitely saw this everywhere. I liked the, uh, the look of the cabinet. Now, here comes the one of the hardest parts of the game. You have to really carefully navigate through this area. Constantly shoot to take out those, those uh, fuel tanks. But you will need to uh, back up and give yourself room to, to move between these uh, walls because it's such a tight area. Ah, damn it! I 
I freaked out a little too much there. But yeah, you have very little room to work with, and you need to uh, pull back far enough to be able to uh, to make it through the, the next space. Yeah, hug back towards the wall, and then fly forward quickly, and then back up again, and repeat. It's very, very hard to do. Man, this was tough. I... <laughs> I have only played against the boss once before, I think. And there he is. And you have barely enough room to sneak in and drop a bomb or maybe shoot him. You cannot. Yeah, I, I ran into him. That won't count. You have to kill him yourself without colliding with him. You cannot bomb him from above. Uh, you have to get close to be able to do that. And, uh, if you do nail him, then you're probably not gonna be able to... Oh, that was clumsy. Then you're probably not gonna be able to make it out, which is okay. Because you will be given an extra life once you kill him. And if you, if you have to pass him once, go ahead, but remember, you're not gonna have any, uh, fuel, uh, tanks to blow up. Ooh, I got him there. See, you can crash, it's okay. Congratulations, you completed your duties. Good luck next time again. You get an extra life. And you start all the levels over again. But that is, uh, Scramble. Uh, the rockets will be maybe faster and more tenacious in uh, trying to fly up and tag you. Whatever. But you'll start all the stages over again. So that's five stages and the boss fight. But you have very little to get in there and drop a bomb on the boss or shoot him. Make sure you don't run into him yourself because that will not count. But once you do beat him, it's okay to crash. You get an extra life from beating him. But constantly bomb, constantly shoot lasers. You, you want to uh, possibly nail a fuel tank below bombs. But, uh, yeah, the stages are, uh, just plain rockets on the first stage, UFOs on the second stage, fireballs on the third stage, rockets in, uh, tall buildings on the fourth stage, tight quarters for the, uh, fuel tanks on stage five, and on stage six it's the boss in the canyon. But that is Scramble, a very, uh, very popular vertically or a horizontally scrolling shooter, forced scrolling shooter. I definitely remember that back in the day. Numerous, numerous arcades had that. Uh, but like I said, that we are also going to take a look at the game Super Cobra, which features a helicopter instead of a spaceship. You can also bomb and fire lasers in the same fashion, but uh, the terrain will be different. The enemies will sure as hell be different. There will be a lot more stages. The game is harder than Scramble. If you thought it was hard uh, uh, navigating the second to last area or beating the boss, this game is really, really going to uh, humble you. But you want to uh, pick up the booty, which is a briefcase with a dollar sign on it. Uh, and that is uh, basically the boss at the end. You have to pick up the, the booty and safely uh, carry it out of the area. And we'll get started here. Now there are ten stages. You also have fuel tanks in this, and you have rockets that rise up and try to nail you, just like in Scrap. Um, but, uh, another enemy, instead of the, uh, mystery enemy, which is 100, 200, or 300 in Scrap, instead you have, uh, tanks that shoot at you. These guys are a pain in the butt in, in a super cobra, especially on a later level, when they get to move. 
and shoot at you. But, um, they are also like the, like the, uh, mystery enemies in Scramble 100, 200, and 300. And it's just kind of a random, uh, value. It's, it's one of those three values. But note that, uh, the levels or the stages don't uh, directly segue into each other, I mean, seamlessly. You will see uh, X amount of miles cleared, and now we have hopping uh, rockets. The rockets don't, like, simply fire straight up, they hop, and they can hop through uh, one side of the screen to the other. And so they can, uh, they can take you by surprise if you're not careful. Uh, kind of tighter quarters in this game than uh, Scramble. I mean, uh, apart from the, the fifth stage on Scramble. Yeah, you can crash into the floor or into the cavern ceiling in this game, so watch out. And now we have uh, different looking uh, UFO type uh, things. Uh, they bob up and down, and then they try to uh, attack you. And while you're dealing with them, there are also uh, tanks that are shooting at you. Yeah, Super Cobra is really tough. I definitely remember seeing this all all sorts of different places. Ah, uh, can't remember if I saw this at a Dairy Queen first. That might have... No, that was... I think that had a scramble. Not a Super Cobra. But I did see Super Cobra a bunch of different places. Yeah, you will see uh, X amount miles cleared. It's uh, a thousand times the stage number that you're at. Ah, I hate these guys. And then they bounce along the uh, narrow passageways in the, in the caverns. When you die in this game, or in Scramble, um, you will pick up at least very close to where you left off. In Scramble, you cannot continue by, pre by inserting a coin and pressing, I think it's the bomb button. In uh, Super Cobra, you can continue. And you will continue, I think, close to at least where you left off. This is a quite the tough game. <laughs> uh, I was never terribly good at this. But just like in Scramble, use your uh, shots and your bombs all the time. And now we have these enemies that uh, drop from the ceiling. Uh, so yeah, the stages in Super Cobra is to start with the rockets and then you go to the hopping rockets. And then there's bouncing UFOs and bobbing UFOs and ceiling enemies. On uh, the sixth, shoot, on the sixth stage, there will be mobile tanks. The tanks will move as they shoot at you. And then on seven is the fireball wave, and you can actually shoot the fireballs this time around uh, for points. And on stage eight, there's uh, shooting. UFOs, the UFOs from the scramble that they shoot this time. And stage 9 has hopping rockets, and that stage is ridiculously short, thank goodness. And then stage 10 has the tight quarters, but it also has uh, rockets rising up at you and tanks that shoot at you, so. Uh, a lot more pain than in scramble. <laughs> and on the 11th stage, there's hopping rockets, and then there's the booty. The, uh, suitcase you must collect, not, uh, not, uh, uh woman's derriere <laughs> booty. <clears throat> Although that would be a, a nice prize to collect at the end of the game. <laughs> but you get an extra life at 10,000 in both Scramble and Super Cobra. 
And in Super Cobra, every time that you pick up the booty, <laughs> you will get an extra life, as long as you safely carried it away. If you crash while carrying the booty, you have to start the, uh, the stage over. shooting tanks that can shoot the uh, booty. And yeah, now we have the moving tanks. These guys really are a pain in the butt. Ugh, I just, I hate these guys. Well, uh, you, like I said, you can continue pretty much where you left off in Super Cobra. Put in a, a credit and you can press, I think, the bomb button. We're just going to skip forward a little bit to, uh, to see clips of each stage. And here's the uh, fireball stage. You can shoot the regular fireballs, and uh, the green fireball, whatever color it is, will take extra shots. If you wait too long, it'll fly at you. I can't remember where I first saw Super Cobra, but uh, I think I first saw Scramble at, at um, a skating rink in Beaverton, Oregon. That skating rink is now gone. It was gone by, I think, by the uh, late 80s. But I used to go there. school there, or a class would go there. You know, pretty decent arcade full of games. We'd get off the uh, uh, roller skating rink uh, floor and build up all that electricity in our feet. See, that stage is super short. That's the uh, uh, hopping rockets from stage 9. Super short level. But uh, we'd, we'd have all this static electricity built up in our feet from roller skating. And um, we'd get shocked when we'd touch the arcade machines. <laughs> um, I obviously put on invincibility by this point. But uh, we have our tight quarters here, like in uh, Scramble. Except you have uh, rising rockets and uh, tanks that can shoot at you as well sex. And there's very few uh, fuel tanks. And it says 10,000 miles cleared. Now we've got the, the booty to have to collect <laughs> the, uh, the suitcase with the dollar sign on. Doesn't mean you're getting laid or anything. <laughs> but uh, it'll be coming up. There it is. And we'll see me uh, Smash it into the building there. Booty destroyed. <laughs> Challenge again. The booty got smashed. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we'll, we'll collect it correctly this time. Uh, well, not this time because I ran out of fuel. Uh, even if you have invincibility on in me, you can still run out of fuel and die. But I'll get it this time. Once, uh, once you've made it to safety, and you see this message, then you can smash it in the ground and it, it's okay. But every time you, you collect the booty and safely uh, take it out of the area, you get an extra life. Like that. That Super Cobra by Konami and Licensed to Stern in 1981. The second half of our 20 from 1981 uh, game number 5. And the first half was, of course, Scramble by Konami and Isis to start in 1981. Super Cobra came out a little bit after Scramble. But that was uh, game number 5 in R20 from 1981 series. Uh, both Scramble and Super Cobra, both created by Konami in 1981. But I thank you for watching game number 5, uh, a two-parter. Scramble and Super Cobra, created by Konami in 1981, and licensed to stern in the U.S. 
Well, I thank you for watching game number five. Hope to see you soon with game number four in my 20 from 1981 series. Y'all have a good one, everybody. Stay cool and stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.